Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, you might want to get uh, put a second pot of coffee on because we got a heavenly palace falling to the earth. BP Earthwatch has got an, two excellent videos to help explain this and break it down for you in detail. But basically, let me just help you out. China has an old space station that they've abandoned when they become part of the International Space Station. They let it go. And it is falling toward the earth. It is on its way down. We don't know the day or the hour it's going to hit. We don't, not yet, or at least China's not released that information. NASA hasn't either. But we have trackers everywhere watching this thing. Now, this space station, the Heavenly Palace is what they call it. It is going to, uh, it weighs about 8.5 metric tons. And it's traveling right now around the earth. Now, it's not going around the earth uh, like the equator is, but it's coming at an angle kind of going like this, all right? It takes it 93 minutes to make a complete circle around the earth, and there's trackers uh, that you can actually watch it at where it's at and how fast it's going. Well, it's traveling at right now 4.78 miles per second, 4.8. Uh, 4.78 miles per second, but as it's been getting closer, as it's as it keeps going around the Earth, okay. But the, each time it's losing altitude. The closer it comes to the Earth, the more slower it begins to travel. And the reason is because it's coming into a more denser uh, atmosphere, and it's going to re start receiving friction. No doubt about it. The closer it gets. Right now, it is setting at 229 miles above the earth as of yesterday. And as it continues to fall, it will come closer and closer and closer. Now, the question is, when it finally breaks through our atmosphere and, and starts to come in, uh, it's going to come under a tremendous pressure. And I would expect it to completely, you know, just to tear it apart, okay, with the fire and the force that it will be experiencing. Uh, but let's say it, it, as it does, where do all these pieces go and what is the potential path that could be hit? Well, South Africa, you're one area that could actually be hit. Uh, so is the southern part of the United States. It actually will go right over. Uh, right now it's orbiting, going right over um, Alabama and Mississippi and uh, cutting right through there in the southern portion of America. Uh, and it will continue to do this. Matter of fact, um, there is reports that would show you exactly where the path is, okay? So you'll be able to know this. You'll be able to track this. You'll be able to try to figure out where in the world this, this uh, space palace, the heavenly palace, is falling. And China's being very, very shh about this. They don't want anybody to know. Uh, they're keeping it very quiet. And I would expect that toward the end, as we get within about a day or two of it making a deep, deep impact with the earth, we will start to hear from uh, NASA. We'll start to hear the lamestream news media start to tell us that the space station's about to hit the earth. And, um, and then they're going to give us all kinds of assurances. Everything's going to be okay. Now, high probability it's going to hit in the ocean somewhere. I mean, because the earth's 75% water, but We've got to keep an eye on it. It is the heavenly palace, according to China. I got news for you. There is a new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, but it's not going to crash into the earth. I'm talking the real heavenly palace. Are you saved? Are you serious? Don't be left behind. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And man, once again... Cluttering up the space now. We're cluttering up the atmosphere with all kinds of space junk. And here comes the Chinese space junk. It's coming. It's, it will hit the earth. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. We'll keep an eye on it for you. I'll keep you up to speed. It's coming. Are you safe?